Over the last decades, I've had to speak in the voice of a social scientist or the voice of a computer guy. And it's never the big picture. And the, very, the big picture is very big. And having to narrow it to the context of particular academic disciplines is um, narrowing to the mind. The more you know, the greater the boundary of the unknown. So you never feel like you know everything. It's exactly the opposite. Knowledge is fractal. The whole world of ideas is this whole bunch of stuff that doesn't have any structure. People put hierarchy on it since Aristotle because it's convenient or because they want to. But the actual structure of the ideas goes in all directions. I became wildly inspired with what I can now state as the insight that everything can be expressed in terms of graph structure. I did put this into a term paper reprinted in my PhD thesis, <laughs> which endeavored to solve all the philosophical problems and create a generalized representational structure for all ideas. With your heart in show business and your head in academia, what do you do? You invent hypertext and hypermedia. <laughs> they were presenting this thing as a calculating engine and then saying, well, we can also do text analysis with it. A program can do anything. And you can put a screen on it. That's it. That's it. That's the future of the human world. All of human work will go to the computer screen. This was the future of the human race. A different kind of life, self-publishing. Since the computer screen is going to replace paper in every aspect, we must create an entire, complete new universe parallel to the old that takes care of versioning, publishing, annotation, publishing of marginal notes, and ways to sell content legitimately within the copyright system. You pay, not for a whole book at a time, but for the next screen full. Two decades, they'd say to me, but are you a computer scientist? What has that got to do with it? <laughs> this is all obvious. And in fact, the computer scientists, a lot of them are clucks, and <laughs> obsessed with completely unimportant things. And the computer scientists I talked to in 1960 and after, they couldn't get it on their horizon that, we, that people would be reading and writing from screens. It's not about computer science. It's about documents. It's about civilization, for God's sake. How could Nelson know this? He wasn't a, a, a computer scientist. I was a movie maker. What is the computer with a screen on it? It's a movie machine. I had to design the documents of the future because if I didn't, the techies would screw it up. And I believe that is exactly what has happened.